What's up everybody, I'm Logan and this is Worldly Reviews, the YouTube channel where I geek out and talk shit. And today I'm going to be talking about Scream. Or as I like to call it, Scream 5, because I mean, it, it's Scream 5. I, I don't understand why requels are getting just the original title, like nothing added to it, no number, no nothing, just like, you know, with the Halloween movie we got in 2018. Which I'm happy that they touched on that in this movie, but anyway... This is definitely one of the most anticipated movies of the year for me, and it did not disappoint. It had everything I wanted from a Scream movie. I want that good mystery of who done it. I want to be paying attention to every little detail, trying to figure out who the killer is. I want a good body count. I want some deaths that are, you know, very intense and gets you really nervous and scared. This movie definitely delivered on that. I love that they did bring back the legacy characters and they even tie it in to all the other Scream movies that came before with little subtle details. Main one being Randy's sister Martha makes an appearance in here because yeah, Randy's niece and nephew are part of the new cast. Really appreciate that Sid is married to Mark Kincaid from Scream 3 and they have kids and looks like a happy life. That was something that wasn't touched on in Scream 4 is okay, what happened to Mark? Because usually the Scream movies go with, you know, Sid, Gale, and Dewey, and one other person surviving. Whoever that other person was is going to die in the next one. And Mark was the other guy that survived in part three, but we never knew what happened to him. So that was a nice little ad in there, and I don't think a lot of fans are going to realize that. But it was definitely nice seeing the legacy characters. Definitely one of the most iconic trios in horror history. They're the Harry, Ron, and Hermione of the horror world. But also definitely like the new cast. I mean, I, I love Jack Quaid. I am a huge fan of the boys. And he definitely brings a good comedic element into this movie. He's got his little one-liners and things throughout, but it's not cheesy one-liners. It's one-liners that will actually make you laugh. And that's just something Jack Quaid's great at. I mean, he does little quips like that in The Boys, and it makes me laugh every time. Love the twins, you know, Randy's niece and nephew. They were great in this movie. They were two characters I really liked. And, of course, your two main characters, Sam and Tara. Really loved them, but out of all the new characters, it was kind of those four were the standouts. Well, no, Wes was definitely a standout, which his death scene was probably the most intense scene in the whole movie. Wes's mom is Judy, you know, Deputy Hicks from part four. Well, now it's Sheriff Hicks in this one. But that scene really had me on the edge of my seat watching that one. Whenever the killer mentions, have you ever seen Psycho? Like, I'm like, oh shit, he's gonna kill him in the shower. There's glass all over the place. This is gonna get brutal. This is gonna get bloody. Like, yes, give me that. And then that scene took a complete 180 and I mean, what the f Fuck. It goes back to what I was saying by like whoever that fourth survivor is in the previous movie, they're going to die in the next one. And yeah, you know, Judy was definitely uh, a statistic. And Wes's death. Wes's death was definitely the one that made me cringe. Just seeing the knife slowly enter his neck and then pop out the other side and you see the imprint of the blade in the neck. It was just... Like, I'm a gore whore. I love movies like this. But... Fuck that one. Yeah. One issue I do have about that scene is that Judy calls for backup on the way to the house. Then she's killed in her front yard. And Wes has enough time to get out the shower, dry off, you know, get some clothes on, go downstairs, start setting the table for dinner and everything. And like no cops showed up. Just a little minor detail that, you know, it just kind of bugged me. And having our new lead character, Sam, be the daughter of Billy was an interesting take. I don't know if I'm completely on board with it. I, I do have issues with it, especially like her seeing Billy, like in the reflection and talking to him and everything. I get that they're trying to touch on mental health. And of course, I love seeing Skeet Ulrich back as Billy. But just those scenes did not fit the franchise for me. But this is definitely the most brutal ghost face we've ever gotten. The kills in this movie were just top notch. Like you really do get to see every stab. And I mean, this ghost face, like I said, he's fucking brutal. He's not holding back or she because, you know, is also one of the killers. And of course, I got to talk about Dewey's death. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming because of the trailer. Just that one quick shot of Gail screaming and crying and people holding her back. It's like, okay, well, she's crying and screaming because Dewey's dead. 
So predicting that would happen kind of took away from the scene, but at the same time, that was a hell of a way to send off a legacy character. It was by far the most brutal killing in any of the Scream movies. That's just my opinion though. Like I almost cried, but I, I like I said, I figured it was gonna happen, so I was kind of mentally prepared. I'm sure when I rewatch it, I'll probably cry. I mean, I cry for everything. But this movie was great. It gave me what I wanted. It was what I wanted of a Scream sequel or requel or whatever you want to call it. Had a great time with it, just like I did with all the previous movies. The kills were great. The new characters were great. I do feel like the characters in part four were a little bit better than this one. But the kills in this one are way better than part four. But for Scream 5, because I'm not calling it Scream because we already have Scream, I'm going to give it a rewatch level 8 out of 10. Definitely looking forward to watching this again. I know I'm going to watch it whew, probably a dozen times this year. I mean, it's fucking Scream. Of course I'm going to rewatch this one. I love Scream. Scream was one of the first franchises that made me love horror. And if you would, hit that like button, drop a comment down in the comment section, follow on social media, and subscribe to stay up to date with all the videos I got coming. Thank you all for watching, I'll see you all next time.